I'm not from here, I'm from Brevard County, uh, where the shuttle goes up and stuff like that. Um, I grew up in the suburbs. None of you all can relate to that. <laughs> uh, you ever have to, you, know, you ever like feel wrong on Halloween? Like Halloween is just like different for you? Like all the kids on my street, they dress up as Captain America, right? I couldn't do that. I had to be Captain African American. Like what powers did I have? Like, I didn't know exactly what was going on with that situation, man. I wish I, wish I was tougher. I wish I just knew street sense, you know? A lot of stuff messed me up, like this right here. <laughs> You know what that means? You're too far away from somebody so you just say what's up, right? When I was eight years old, this kid was on the monkey bars. He got on the monkey bars and he looked at me. He was like, yo, what's up, man? But I was like, hey, bro. How you doing? What's up? You talk, you talk like this? I was confused. I was real confused. Talking to girls was uh, a little bit different for me. Right? Because I want to be like the older guys. The older guys know how to get the girls. So what I did was I went to them. I said, dude, how to get the girls? They told me, listen, all girls your age think all boys are immature. You got to talk about the stuff that is not normally talked about. So I said, okay. I saw this girl. She had a necklace on. So I said, hey. She said, hi. I said, how you doing? She said, good. I said, I like that. She said, you like my necklace? No, your neck. <laughs> I got confused, man. I got confused. I grew up, I'm dating now. I'm dating, I am dating. Um, Blackpoolme.com was not working for me. Uh, arguments are serious. I figured out arguments are real. Like, when you, when your woman is mad to the point of like no return, you have to wait until she calms down before you can get to the next point. Just an example, like say I'm Superman and my girl's Lois Lane, right? And I come home and I tell her about my dad. Babe, listen, Lex Luthor had a bomb strapped to Metropolis. She, he was going to kill everybody. Put kryptonite on everybody, right? <laughs> she's going to look at you and she's going to be like, and? You're selfish. <laughs> How am I selfish? I saved the whole world. The world? You forgot Mars, Venus, Pluto. Saturn has rings. I don't have a ring. <laughs> Where's my ring? At? Remember, girl in church, though? I came from one of those old school churches, you know, ha, ha, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Jesus, ha, Lord. <laughs> I was sitting on the front row like, this dude has asthma like I do. I can't even, you can't give a testimony you can't breathe straight. How you gonna do that? One of my favorite things I like to do when I'm not reminiscing about my past is I like to do impressions. I like to imagine what some of my favorite comedians would sound like if they were pastors. So I'm going to give y'all three voices of some comedians right now if they were pastors. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is... <laughs> this is Brother Williams. Uh, I just want to say that the little boy who punched me in the face while I was playing soccer, you messed up my part. I didn't know what was going on until my dad walked in. He was like, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. The reason why I didn't put money in the basket is because the way my bank account is set up, I got to check in the savings. All my money's going to be in the savings unless you got the jeans on so you can wipe it off. We don't go ahead and pass it to the Pastor Rock. Pastor Rock, tell these people what they need to know. You know, it is real hard. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here.